Hello, my loves, my friends, my colleagues, my children, because a lot of you are much younger than me. I wanted to speak mainly to my teacher subbies. Of course, if you're not a teacher, you're welcome to stick around. In fact, let's all talk about this because it does eventually affect all of us. But I've been doing a lot of self-improvement reading on blogs, listening to blogs, um, reading information online, reading hard um, back paperback books, um, whatever I can find. To, so I won't allow myself to slip into this teacher funk, so to speak, okay? Um, because I hear it here and there um, as the year, as the school year gets older. It, I haven't heard it yet, and I hope not to hear it. Um, and so I've been reading articles that focus on preventing teacher burnout or preventing these feelings or that feelings and so on. One article that I came across is written by Chris Zook and it is entitled The Seven Best Ways to Avoid Teacher Burnout in 2019. So I'm just going to briefly go through them and try to connect with them as far as what I'm doing hopefully in preventing this. So, the seven methods by Chris Zook are as follows. Number one, stay healthy. Stay healthy. Well, I take my blood pressure medicine. You all know that I take meds. Um, and I would say that probably every time I've been to Walmart, um, to the blood pressure machine in the pharmacy, I have had a decent reading. I think the reading before last might have been slightly high on the bottom. Maybe it was like a 118 over like 88 or something. So that was slightly high. But overall, I've been staying on top of that. Um, eating. Oh, that's another story. That's a struggle. I'm eating healthy. My son eats pretty healthy. He's like on this protein diet. And so I do listen to him. He tells me about other things that I should include in my diet. Um, yeah, a 16-year-old telling the 47-year-old that. But yeah, um, I realize I probably need to step it up on that. And the thing also, I have stopped walking. I probably stopped walking um, halfway into the summer, not even halfway. So I do need to get that routine going. What things are y'all doing on the health side of things to prevent teacher burnout? So let me know um, in the comments. Number two, indulge in personal time, Lord. I get personal time. My personal time is watching you all on YouTube, catching up on Married to Medicine, um, something like that. So I do need to um, probably do better. I used to go to the library just to read casually magazines, um, that kind of thing. I probably need to get out more with other females to enjoy myself. And my husband and I, we don't really get out like we used to. So um, that kind of thing, getting out more with family, I do need to improve upon that. I really do. Um, what are y'all doing? Number three, talk to your colleagues. Oh, now I have really stepped up my game. I have, When I say I've stepped up my game in talking to my colleagues, um, I have really, really stepped that up. It's something that our school climate, um, it, it seems to be more involved I'm more involved in us um, in our time at, that we have with other teachers, more involved in making school more fun, somewhat more fun for students, um, more involved in our reward system as a, you know, a school-wide reward system. So I think that I have really stepped that up and, and you know, m more talking to um guidance counselor, other teachers about my students who have learning disabilities for the most part. So yes, I've definitely improved in that. I'm probably on my A game in that. 
Um, number four, recognize what you do well. I used to think that I was never really good at anything, but now I realize there have been some things that I've done in the past and even now that I'm pretty good at that other people might look at me and say, oh, okay, that's not bad. You should consider doing this. Like sometimes when I do my own hair, which my hair is messed up, it's kind of jacked up right now. But even with me doing my own hair, I do get compliments. Um, I get compliments sometimes on the clothing that I wear, although I continue to wear most of the clothes that I've had for the past several years. So I do need to give myself some, a little bit more self-love, give myself a compliment every now and then. Um, number five, prepare ahead of schedule. I've been doing a little better with that, writing everything down. Did I tell you all about how I forgot about uh, the academic awards? ceremony last school year that I was supposed to be at. Yeah, that's a whole nother vlog right there. That's probably another upload that I'll have to share with you. But yeah, I've been doing more writing down, which that's what we're supposed to be doing as teachers anyway. Um, but writing down every little thing, not just some things. So I'm doing, I'm really up on my game with that. Um, number six, leave schoolwork at school. Well, today I'm probably going to take it home with me. So yeah, this is probably only my second time out of um, almost 35 school days, so that's not bad. So I've definitely done better with that, and I don't hang around at school as long as I used to. So yes, pretty good on that. And then the last one, make yourself a priority. To me, that fits in with all the others. If you make yourself a priority, um, you know, just me starting to grow nails, that I, I told myself, look, you got to do better. Now I've got to work on my skin got to work on my skin and some things with that. I've got to work on my teeth. See, I'm missing a tooth here. I'm missing a tooth there. You know, I had got to do better with that, definitely. But yeah, I've got to do better at that. I've got to do better, y'all. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you, um, and I hope that it actually helps someone. I hope that these seven things become a part of your lifestyle if they're not already. I'm sure some of you are on your A game and with all seven of them, great, because I'm not. But I did want to share that with you. Again, this can be found online. I will leave the link in the description box, but the writer, the author is Chris Zook check him out um he writes about other topics but he keeps teachers in mind as well so yeah i hope you've had a wonderful day i've enjoyed today um it is the 34th school day we're 15th well, october 15th today uh, again continuing spirit week here the spirit week hold on y'all As I said, I'm going to let y'all see what I've got on. Da -da, da -da. I did not do spirit week, so I'm just in my regular civilian teacher clothes, okay? Um, but I did not do spirit week um, as far as today. Today, yesterday was, yesterday was frat day. I didn't do that. Today was, um, what was today? Today was... Tourist day, like tacky tourist day. I even had out some, uh, I even had out the attire to wear this morning. I just didn't. I, like I said, I've been in this little, I don't know, slipping into this little funk. Nothing to do with teaching or anything. It's just, just in life, like in life, generally in life. So I've got to pull away from that. So tomorrow I think it's character day. I'm probably not going to do that. We'll see about throwback Thursday. I don't know. But yeah, I wanted to share that with you. Seven things. Make these seven things habits. Let's do this, teachers. My teacher friends, um, if you're thinking about teaching, what have you, let's make these um, every day or regular habits. Okay? And I will chat with you another time. Don't forget. And no one else will be your own cheerleader, create your own sunshine. Love you. See you tomorrow for Vogtober 16th.